and outs. The end of James Harrison's 60-year legacy. Why he stopped saving lives. I'm Jim Fugate and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. This guy has been doing it for over 60 years and in that time he has done it over 1100 times. And on the 11th of May 2018, at age 81, he did it for the last time. What did he do? Well, it was no big deal. He just quietly saved over 2.4 million lives. And then he stopped. Hang on to the end to find out why he stopped executing his life-saving sideline. This is how it started. James Harrison was a December baby, born December 27, 1936, in Australia. When James was 14 years old, he had to undergo major life-saving chest surgery. It took a whole lot of donated blood to allow him to survive the ordeal. And when he recovered, he vowed he would follow the example of those kind strangers who had donated blood to keep him alive. The Red Cross would not allow him to begin donating until he was 18 years old. So, he waited. And when he turned 18, he opened the faucet, donating as much as he could every time he could. But donating blood that often, as incredible as it is, there's something more to this story. There is a grim malady that occurs with some regularity. An illness that threatens the lives of unborn children is called rhesus D. hemolytic disease, or HDN. This disease strikes when mothers whose blood is Rh negative are pregnant with a fetus whose blood is Rh positive. When this happens, the child is quite likely to experience a severe autoimmune system overreaction, which becomes a critical threat to the life of the fetus or newborn child. Prior to 1967, thousands of babies were lost every year to HDN. Fortunately, a cure was discovered, and this remedy is found in the blood of a few rare people. It's called the anti-D antibody, and it stops the reaction between Rh negative and Rh positive blood. This anti-D antibody prevents HDN, thus preventing stillbirth and the death of newborns, as well as severe disabilities to those few who might survive with HDN. Back to the extraordinary James Harrison. It didn't take too long for the medical community to realize how amazing and precious the gift was that this man had chosen so willingly to give. James Harrison had very high levels of naturally produced anti-D in his blood. That priceless anti-D that prevented HDN. Once they figured this out, his blood became a favorite. And when the method of donating plasma, which can be donated more frequently than whole blood, was perfected, James was showing up about every two weeks. He became known as the man with the golden arm. Gratefully, others have been found to have that same life-saving antigen in their blood. And medicine has even begun producing a monoclonal version of it. However, in May of 2018, James Harrison donated for the 1,173rd and last time. He aged out of the system. The Red Cross says no more donations after age 81. 1,173 times. But I guess if I could get 1,173 donuts, I might be willing. So here's the ounce. As many as 2.4 million lives were saved because one boy's life was preserved by the selfless donation of blood. As a result, that boy committed himself to give a little time and get stuck in the arm with a needle once every two weeks or so. And thanks to the people who saved his life. This remarkable true story illustrates that in many cases, it really doesn't take much to make all the difference in the world. And that's it. An ounce. Submitted for your consideration. <laughs>